epoxy sculpt and magic sculpt two-part resin based epoxy putties very different working properties so in this video I'm going to be breaking down the differences and hopefully helping you choose which product is best for you Hi there, it's DJB. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren and I have been sculpting and painting realistic model horse figurines since 2017. I've used epoxy and magic sculpt since the beginning of my journey and I have a lot of experience using these clays. Originally, I started with epoxy sculpt as it was easier to find. It was the one that everyone was recommending and I stumbled across magic sculpt through a hobby friend who suggested suggested I try it out instead. I have since made the switch to Magic Sculpt and haven't looked back, but I want to explain the differences. I want to show them side by side, compare them for you because I think they're both amazing products and I really think it depends on your personal preference which one you would like. So formula wise, these clays are virtually the same. They're an epoxy putty and that means it's a two part resin clay. So you're going to have a part A, a part B, a resin part and a hardener. You're going to pull a part from each container of the same value, mix those together. You're going to have a few hours working time and the clay is going to cure air dry over 24 hours. Both of these clays are super durable, hard, waterproof, sandable, drillable can adhere to other surfaces, are perfect options for customizing figurines or sculpting original works yourself. I find both of them have a very similar smell. There's a slight odor, nothing too crazy. You can buy each of these in a five pound container or a one pound container. They essentially retail around the same price point. So you're looking at 60 ish dollars for five pounds, 30 ish dollars for one pound. Both of these products are made in the USA. You can find these guys on Amazon, both of them. I always ordered them online and I source my magic sculpt through a taxidermy supplier here in Canada, but I've ordered epoxy sculpt on art based websites, so it's definitely easier to find the epoxy sculpt. Magic Sculpt is a little bit harder to look up. There isn't like a official website either. I have heard with Epoxy Sculpt, the colors change the working properties of the clay. So I always stick to natural. The Epoxy Sculpt is much darker than the Magic Sculpt. So your finished sculpture is going to be quite a bit darker. Magic Sculpt is a little more uniform in the color. I do have a container of the Epoxy Super White and I use this to repair resin copies. This stuff is terrible. The hardener is the same. The resin is the white consistency, but it's like chalky and it gets all over your fingers. It's horrible to use. I would never want to sculpt an entire sculpture with this stuff. It would be awful. So my recommendation for any of these clays just stick with natural, it has no dyes in it. It's the most clear version of the product that you will be able to use. That's my personal opinion on that. Take that as you will. If you need a color, go for it, great. But just know they don't all work the same. Magic Sculpt, not 100% sure that those colors do make an effect. I haven't tried them. I haven't heard a ton of other people talking about it. Most people stick with the natural. The epoxy is a lot firmer, holds less detail, feels like almost like the particles in it are larger, if that makes sense. It's a smooth clay, it like works well, but it's not a super refined, super detailed clay. Whereas the Magic Sculpt, I find you can get a lot of detail into because it's very fine, it's very soft, it's a lot smoother. Whereas the epoxy can almost feel a bit granularly. Epoxy holds its place because it's easier to get smooth. It's easier to use for a large surface. So if you're sculpting something really big or like an abdomen, say on a horse, you could smooth the abdomen really easily with epoxy. With Magic Sculpt, you're gonna be smoothing that, but you're gonna notice any little divot you put in that is gonna be translated in the clay. So it's easy to get smooth, but it's a lot harder to get uniform. That being said, both of these clays sand really well. It's easy to achieve 
smooth results. I also found with the epoxy, the clay itself is just firmer. So it's harder on my hands to mix epoxy, to work with epoxy, than it is to work with Magic Sculpt. The epoxy too, when it's mixed, it kind of crumbles. It's not a sticky texture. It's kind of a firm, doughy consistency. Magic Sculpt is a little more plasticky. It feels a little closer to a polymer to a degree, where it's a little bit stickier. It has a bit of stretch to it, whereas an epoxy just kind of crumbles. It's more like a, a dough. It doesn't have as much stretch, doesn't have as much give, doesn't feel as plasticky, and it's not nearly as sticky. So I do find that applying epoxy to, say, a plastic surface, it doesn't want to stick to things as well as Magic Sculpt does. Here you can see the difference in color of the unmixed clays. And when we mix together the epoxy sculpt, you can see it takes a lot of maneuvering in between my fingers and it kind of never really reaches that uniform color. Whereas the Magic Sculpt mixes together, I find that it leaves more of a residue on your hands. So one of the tricks I use is to dip your finger in some water and then continue to mix so that it doesn't stick to you too much. But then it's a much more uniform color once it's fully mixed. And we can see the performance of these two clays here, just how more dough-like the epoxy is to smush out versus the Magic Sculpt is a lot more fluid. Uh, it's a lot stickier, it's a lot thinner, it's a lot finer. The smoothing properties of both of these is a little bit different as well. Epoxy Sculpt doesn't react to water nearly as much as Magic Sculpt does. I would always be reaching for isopropyl alcohol for the epoxy. With Magic Sculpt, I was using a alcohol quite a bit. I've actually stepped back and now I use a lot more water because I find that the water is strong enough for the Magic Sculpt. It just smooths a lot more than the epoxy. That being said, Magic Sculpt is more prone to turning to mush. You can add a lot of water, a lot of alcohol to epoxy, it kind of just holds its form. Magic Sculpt, if you add too much alcohol, too much water to it, it literally turns to a soup. So you have to be careful with how much smoothing you do. So that's all about technique and learning how to use it. So I did a few tests as well with these clays. So my first test was running silicone shaper tool across both of these, just as is. Then I dipped the tool in water, dragged that through. You can see it's a lot smoother. Then I dipped the tool in alcohol before dragging it across. And then I made two zigzag lines with nothing on the tool here. And I smoothed the first line using water in both of these. and then the second line smoothing with alcohol across both of these. And you can see that the Magic Sculpt takes that texture a lot more than the epoxy. The epoxy just flattens out, smooths out really well, but it loses the detail, I think. Create a lot more texture and detailing using the Magic Sculpt. Yeah, the biggest comparison, I think, is just that the epoxy is a lot more dough-like, so it smooths a lot easier, it's not as sticky, it kind of is crumbly, it balls up a little bit more, it doesn't want to smooth down as much, it can't hold as much detail. Magic Sculpt is a lot like a plasticine, it's a lot smoother, a lot finer, a lot stickier. So it wants to take detail, it wants to take texture, and it smooths really easily, but it's really easy to over smooth.
This is the clay after it's been cured for 24 hours and I'm just running my finger over it. It does leave some marking in the dried clay, but these both sand about the same. I don't really notice a difference in the durability of them. The biggest reason I switched to Magic Sculpt was that my epoxy sculpt was really hard to mix, get uniform, and cure properly. So I had a lot of issues sculpting something amazing in 24 hours, finding that there was soft spots or spots that were causing problems and the clay was not fully cured. So in the model horse realm, priming them, painting them, you cannot have any soft spots that's going to ruin your project. So it was a big problem for me where I was having to peel pieces of sculpture off. I was having to dig out holes where the sculpture was not cured. I just found with the epoxy, it was very inconsistent and very hard to keep consistent. It gets very marbly. It's hard to remove the marble look. It doesn't always look like it's fully mixed, but you can mix forever and it feels like it never looks fully mixed. I find the hardener on the epoxy is really pretty prone to oxidization. So as it ages, as it gets older, it gets really hard to use. And that's depending on your climate too, humidity levels. It was just causing problems and I wasn't feeling like it was working with me, it was fighting me. When I made the switch to Magic Sculpt, I noticed that that clay, when you mix it together, smooths really well. There's a little bit of discoloration but not nearly as much as when using epoxy. So I found it easier to mix and I found that it was easier to cure. It was always curing. I have heard that Magic Sculpt also has oxidization to a degree. Like I said, I think that's based on your climate and where you live. So over time, some sculptures you do if the base isn't secure enough, if the surface wasn't sanded enough or smooth enough, the clay can be smoothed onto that surface, but over time, leaving that sculpture for a couple of years or however long, sometimes the clay can actually start to lift off of the base and create a crack. I've noticed in some of my older stuff, my beginner stuff, and it could just be a beginner thing because I was still learning at the time, but I do feel like epoxy is just a bit more prone to the lift. And I think that's because it is a bit thicker a little harder to smooth, a little chunkier. Magic Sculpt, you can really streak out and you won't get lift. I find Magic Sculpt reacts to heat really well. I don't recall doing a lot of heat adjustments with epoxy. Magic Sculpt, I find if you put the sculpture out in the sun, you put it in front of a space heater, it gives you kind of a flash cure where you're able to cure it enough so that you won't dig your fingernails into what you've already completed sculpturally and you can continue to work on the sculpture after letting it sit for 10-15 minutes in front of a heat source. So overall these products work very similarly and you can see in the tests how they perform. I think trying both of these is really advisable as well see which one would work better for you in the application best suited for you. But I hope this better explains the difference and potentially makes your decision a little bit easier. If you have any questions or concerns furthering this topic, leave a comment down below. You can also email me at any time. Make sure to like this video if you want to see more content like this and subscribe to this channel. It helps more than you know. Thank you so much for watching and Happy sculpting. I also now have a Patreon if you want to support me further. Link is in the description. Mm -hmm.